Ah, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to whoever and wherever you are around the world. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus, and I pray that you are prospering even as your soul is prospering. It is a beautiful Thursday, March 1st, 2012, and class is in session. So I do a lot of traveling uh, back and forth uh, in the last several months between um, here in Milledgeville and Atlanta. And I, in my coming and going, I see a lot of cars on the side of the road stranded. And I have to admit that there have been many a times that I've been one of those individuals on the side of the road. As a matter of fact, in the past several weeks, I've experienced that more times than I have the entire time I've walked the earth. And uh, to all my friends watching this, you know exactly uh, what I'm talking about because you are the ones I'm calling and saying, hey, I'm on the side of the road at a um, gas car, whatever. It's, you know, whatever. But anyway, so it got me to thinking on my way back to, to Millersville this past Sunday, I started thinking, you know, if if I'm on the side of the road, and in this, in this and let me give you a background. So while I was in Atlanta, I was watching one of those detective stories, cold case files or discovery, uh, investigation discovery or something to that nature, whatever, you know, missing people, whatever. So I started thinking, you know, what would give me a better chance of being found if, you know, someone comes up and I'm missing? So I thought about it. if I'm on the side of the road, what would be the best scenario? And I'm thinking, I know you're thinking, well, you know, you will call somebody, you break down the side of the road, you call a friend and you wait for them to come up, right? Of course. Then what happens if someone pulls up behind you and, you know, they come up and, then you, and, and you know, they come up to the window and say, do you need any help? You would say, oh, I've already got somebody. I've called, up, called somebody. They're on their way. Easy enough, right? But what happens if things take a bad turn even then? What needs to be, what can, preventative measure can you do? So I started to think. You have a few moments from the time that person pulls up to the time they get out of the car to come assist you if uh, they have bad intentions. So I started thinking, well, if I'm on the side of the road and somebody comes up behind me, the first thing I need to do is either Facebook, since we live in a social social network world, you got Facebook, you got Twitter, you got texting, you can make a quick phone call or whatever. Contact whoever you need to and say, hey, uh, there's a black male, white male in a uh, red Ford Explorer F-150. Uh, they have a vanity plate that says, get her done. And there's a crack on the right side of the window. And uh, it has such and such, be as detailed as possible. So if something were to go awry, there the, it gives the opportunity for the police to be able to do what they need to do a little bit faster. Okay, and it's just a preventative measure. And I know what you're thinking. Well, what happens if I'm the one that goes and picks somebody up? There's no reason why I would be tricked and fooled. Well, not the case, because I was watching my best show, favorite show, Psych, the other night. And this same scenario happened. A passerby got out to help a couple, and they ended up pulling a gun on them. Now, this is just make-believe, but does it happen in real life? Probably so. So the same thing happened. When you pull up behind the car and you're going to assist that person, what can you do? Before you get out, make a phone call and say, hey, I stopped. I'm helping uh, helping an individual. Their license plate is such and such and such and such. They are a female. They're a male. Uh, the color of the car, uh, just very description, be, be very descriptive in um, the information you give. So that way it gives uh, gives you um, it gives you accountability, make sure someone knows where you are. And if something were to happen, because you know, I'm fortunate to say this is uh, this world is run by Satan uh, and the things that are going on in it. And uh, and so you have to be very mindful in these times uh, to protect yourself, protect God's people. Uh, so that's my my cliff note for you. Just to be wise when you're going out stopping and helping people and, uh, and just use wisdom. Uh, not everyone is out like that, but just use wisdom and just be safe um, in every situation. Just to go and make that phone call, the extra step, that text, that tweet or whatever. Um, that's my encouragement to you. Um, if you have any other ideas or you're thinking, oh, well, I already thought of that Cliff Notes or you have a better idea, please feel free to um, leave on my desk below. You know where to find me on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, uh, GodTube. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Love to hear from you. Uh, as always, remember, God is on the throne. Jesus is Lord and the devil is defeated. Don't forget, you can also follow me. You can find me on nbmmillageville.org. That's the church's website. Uh, got some great things coming down the works. Hope to hear from you from there. Uh, I'm Clifton. This is Cliff Notes. Class dismissed.